Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of OpSwat's Meta Defender for Email Gateway Security. What I'll be doing today is sending this email out to three users. OpSwat's Meta Defender for Email Gateway Security is very configurable on how you want to layer protection for your end users, whether that's inbound email or outbound email. With multiple profiles and different filters, the possibilities are enormous. In this email, we're attempting to trick the end user to give us their credit card information for an IRS refund scam. One could potentially wonder why the IRS would need your credit card number, but there is a reason why these types of emails are sent out. It's because they're effective. As you can see, there are several items in this email that are both tempting and dangerous. The first is the money amount. Who couldn't use an extra $4,000? Likewise, we have a couple of links, one of which is malicious, at one point going to an actual phishing web link. The other is actually a genuine link going back to IRS's website. So a bit of confusion for the end user who may not comp be completely careful. Finally, we have a PDF with some active JavaScript inside of it that is trying to grab credentials from the end user, such as their credit card number. We'll go ahead and click on send. As this is being sent out, we'll see the emails pop up. One's popped up in Bob's. We'll never actually see one inside of Andy's, and the reason for that is Andy has absolute security, meaning he won't ever receive this email. However, just so you know, Regardless of the reason why this email was caught, in this case, spam phishing as well as active content, uh, it can always be released back to Andy. So if he realizes that he's missing an email for some reason, he can go to the administrator and say, please, can I get this? The administrator can see why it was blocked and potentially release that back to Andy as necessary. Bob, on the other hand, has absolutely no security, so he'll get everything, bad or good. This could be a good example of a nice honeypot, something that can be used for later analysis. But in this case here, if this were to be an actual user, some things we can see, these links are still here, and you can see the link goes to a spam phishing website, as well as that irs.gov website. And then finally, we can go ahead and open up this tax refund, and when it opens, we see the active content. So inside of here, we've got, it's asking for a credit card number. You know, you can put anything in here. This is just an example of something that could happen. And you see here that it goes to httben.org with that information we entered inside of there. So all of that is no good. And you can see this is the actual content of the PDF uh, that was there for the end user to see. And then with that JavaScript can cause a lot of confusion. Someone could put their actual information inside of there. And then lastly, we have Carol. So in Carol's case, we have everything inside of here redacted some form or other. So for the URLs that were there, they're no longer active. So instead, in order for her to go to this spam and phishing link, she would actually have to come in here, copy and paste that into her browser. But hopefully just seeing that one goes to irs.gov and the other one goes to uh, a different website would be enough for her to realize, oh, maybe I should forward this onto my IT or mark it as junk or just delete it. And then finally, we have that PDF file that's actually been sanitized by OpSwat's Meta Defender. So in this case here, when she goes to open it, that active content, that active JavaScript is no longer there, and instead just the human readable parts that someone would normally need anyway is what's left. Now in this case here, it's nothing special, it's just those credit card numbers, expiration dates, CVCs that are needed, uh, you know, but the important thing is, is that active content, that JavaScript was removed without changing anything else that someone would need to read. So that is my demonstration of OpSwat's Meta Defender for Email Gateway Security. Thank you and have a good day.